hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to discuss a very important topic that is the application of Huckel molecular orbital theory for ethylene we will cover the following points Huckel molecular orbital are pi molecular orbitals secular determinant Huckel molecular orbital energy levels the pi bond energy, the coefficients and the Huckel molecular orbital functions, physical representations of Huckel molecular orbitals where we will discuss both the graphical representation and three-dimensional representation. Let's take one by one. This is the ethylene molecule label the two carbon atoms as C1 and C2. The Huckel molecular orbital or pi molecular orbital can be written like as psi is equal to A1 phi1 plus A2 phi2 where psi is the Huckel molecular orbital phi1 and phi2 are pz atomic orbitals of c1 and c2 involved in pi bond formation and a1 and a2 are orbital coefficients secular determinant formation of determinant is a very important step since in ethylene there are only two carbon atoms connected with the pi bond so there will be determinant of 2 into 2 matrix for making determinant keep three points in mind every carbon is attached to itself for that put x a carbon attached to another carbon put 1 and for a carbon not attached to another carbon put 0 now let's make determinant for that, first consider C1. Since C1 is attached to itself, so put X here. And C1 is attached to C2, so put 1 here. Now, consider C2. Since C2 is attached to C1, so put 1 here and C2 is attached to itself, so put X. This will be equal to 0, where X is equal to alpha minus E upon beta. Alpha is the energy of an electron in a 2p orbital. Beta, the interaction energy between 2p orbitals, which is always negative and E is the energy of a particular Huckel molecular orbital. If we have a determinant of 2 into 2 matrix like this, it is expanded as AD minus BC is equal to 0. So, the, deter the determinant which we have created will be expanded as x square minus 1 square is equal to 0 or x square minus 1 is equal to 0 or x square is equal to 1 or x is equal to plus minus 1. Huckel molecular orbital energy levels. This equation can be rearranged as E is equal to alpha minus x beta. Since there are two values of x, minus 1 and plus 1, so there will be two Huckel molecular orbital energy levels. Putting x is equal to minus 1 will give E1 is equal to alpha plus beta and putting x is equal to plus 1 will give E2 is equal to 
alpha minus beta since beta has negative values so e1 is less than e2 e1 is bonding while e2 anti-bonding molecular orbital thus we can draw the Huckel molecular energy level for the ethylene like this these are alpha e1 and e2 since there are two pi electrons so in the ground state they will occupy e1 the pi bond energy total energy of two electrons before bonding is equal to 2 alpha total energy of two electrons after pi bonding is equal to 2 into alpha plus beta so the pi bond energy will be equal to 2 alpha plus beta minus 2 alpha is equal to 2 beta the coefficients and the Huckel molecular orbital functions let's rewrite the secular determinant which is x1 and 1x is equal to 0 since the two coefficients are a1 and a2 so we can write a1 a2 multiplied by x1 1x is equal to 0 so we can write the two secular equations a1x plus a2 is equal to 0 and a1 plus a2x is equal to 0 for bonding level x is equal to minus 1 putting x is equal to minus 1 in this equation will give a1 into minus 1 plus a2 is equal to 0 or minus a1 plus a2 is equal to 0 or a1 is equal to a2 applying normalization condition which is a1 square plus a2 square is equal to 1 since a1 is equal to a2 so replacing a2 by a1 will give a1 square plus a1 square is equal to 1 or 2 a1 square is equal to 1 or a1 is equal to a2 is equal to 1 upon root 2. We know that Huckel molecular orbital psi is equal to a1 phi 1 plus a2 phi 2. So putting the values of a1 and a2 will give the function for bonding orbitals as psi 1 is equal to 1 upon root 2 into phi 1 plus phi 2. For anti-bonding level, x is equal to plus 1. Putting the value of x in the same equation will give a1 into plus 1 plus a2 is equal to 0 or a1 plus a2 is equal to 0 or a2 is equal to minus a1. Applying normalization condition, a1 square plus a2 square is equal to 1. Since a2 is equal to minus a1, so replacing a2 by a1 will give a1 square plus a1 square is equal to 1 or 2 a1 square is equal to 1 or a1 is equal to 1 upon root 2 and a2 is equal to minus 1 upon root 2. Huckel molecular orbital psi is equal to a1 phi 1 plus a2 phi 2. So putting the values of a1 and a2 will give the function for the anti-bonding orbital of ethylene as psi 2 is equal to 1 upon root 2 into phi 1 minus phi 2. Physical representation of Huckel molecular orbital functions. Let's rewrite the wave functions psi 1 and psi 2 
for the two Huckel molecular orbitals of ethylene. There are two methods for their physical representation graphical and three dimensional. Let's first discuss graphical representation. The Huckel molecular orbital function of ethylene can be represented graphically like as. We can see that as we move along C1C2 axis, Psi1 continuously increases till it reaches to maxima near C1. Beyond this point, it decreases, reaches to minima, again increases, reaches to maxima near C2 and then falls off continuously. The function Psi2 changes its sign in the middle of C1, C2 axis. This point is called node or radial node. Three-dimensional representation. The Huckel molecular orbital of ethylene can three-dimensionally be represented like as, where bonding orbital has only one nodal plane, which contains C1, C2 axis, which is common to all pi orbitals, while antibonding orbital has two nodal planes one containing C1, C2 axis which is the common one and other perpendicular to C1, C2 axis. If you look at bonding Huckel molecular orbital, there is no center of inversion. So it is called ungirate U and also represented by Pi U, while antibonding orbital has center of inversion, so it is also called G red G and is also represented by Pi G. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.